So last week you all saw me with Greg's family in Cabo. Now I'm gonna give you all a little taste of South Carolina with Greg and I. All right, so here we go. We have made it to Charleston. Welcome to the low country. Are you happy, Greg? You made it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time I come to Charleston, uh, especially in the airport, it's kind of bittersweet to see uh, this tribute to the Emanuel Nine. Uh, they were, as well as Emanuel AME, um, was a staple and is still a staple in the state of South Carolina and especially in Charleston. Which is why I feel it's so important to pay respect to the people that were lost. Y'all know I love the beach, and one of the best parts about this trip to Charleston is that we got a house right on the beach. Are you enjoying the beach? It's so much flatter than the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> it's crazy how much flatter the Atlantic Ocean is than the Pacific Ocean. Pacific. Sure. One of the things in South Carolina that it's known for is their seafood. So I decided to take Greg down to the wetlands to see some oysters. You know, oysters in the wild. So this is one of my favorite parts of South Carolina. If you look at those dirty clumps down there, those are actually clusters of oysters in the shallow wetlands there. See if you look up here, this is a public shellfish ground, recreational harvesting only but I'm continue to get mine from the store and the restaurants for now. What's block two? Two things about South Carolina I love, the beach and the seafood. And Elliot's family made sure we had seafood every single day we were in town. <laughs> And Elliot's cousins introduced me to Moonshine for the okay, first time. What do you got in your hand? White Lightning, Moonshine, South Carolina's finest. All right, pour a little bit. I got what? A little bit, just a little bit. Don't go, don't be overzealous here. It Woo. smells like vodka mixed with gin. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Greg was so confident, y'all, but watch what happens. Drink it. Drink the rest of it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> you need it. 
swear, I don't know what's happening. It's what's wrong? Violent. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, told y'all, he took a turn for the worse. Greg. Wake up. Now, I just wanted to add some context to the next video you're about to see. If you're wondering what's going on, Greg's in the shower, but blasting Michigan football music. It's New Year's Eve, and they're playing in the playoff today. Oh, I thought you were making an entrance. <laughs> this is his ritual for every game. Hopefully they win today, though. Unlike Clemson. He does this before every game. But this is Richard, I like it. So in addition to the game, it is New Year's Eve and Elliot's family is coming over tonight for dinner. So I'm straightening up a little bit and getting everything ready for them to come over. Greg, what are you fixing over there? As you can see, Elliot would rather sit on the couch and annoy me than help. What are you getting ready, though? What, like hobby zones? Are you cooking? I need to get closer. A uh, lighter for the candle. Yeah. I bought a little candle, so you know we can eliminate any potential funk. Make sure that light is long enough from the firework. What? You know, I mean, you don't want to get too close, just in case the firework explodes too fast. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Too. So as I told y'all, Elliot's family loves seafood. So we started off our New Year's Eve dinner with some oysters as an appetizer. Sorry about the camera movement. I got a little excited about all the food. Here we go, here we go. So for people that don't know, Hoppin' John is a tradition in my family and a lot of black families, especially from the South. Uh, Hoppin' John's is like, rice and like some field peas or a different type of pea that you may want to have and then a meat uh typically this time we're having prime rib but it's supposed to bring in good luck for the new year Y'all, this food is so good. I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm a gravy person. Mm. And I think I like it because it's... Yeah, that's true. I do like gravy. Man. Yeah, it's good, but I like gravy. So you know in Times Square, they have the ball drop. But in Folly Beach, South Carolina, they have the flip-flop drop. Yeah. Yes, the flip-flops are hooked up to a fire truck. Don't make fun of my camera skills here, or lack thereof.
New Year's Day was relatively quiet for us. We um, brought in the new year with uh, some fun paint and sipping, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it's a nice way to relax and bring in a peaceful 2023. Happy New Year again, y'all. Arts and Craft Day, Greg. Come on. All right, y'all. Be honest. So drop a note in the comments. Whose is better? Mine is on the left. Greg is on the right. Don't lie. Oh, also, before we forget, Elliot and I were featured in a magazine mm -hmm. in the new year. It came out January, what, 9th? 7th. 7th. Came out January 7th. Mm -hmm. go, go get your copies. Black Gay Wedding Elevate. Uh... You can watch some behind the scenes footage of our shoot with them right here. Enjoy. And again, Happy New Year. Love y'all. No, we're not married or engaged yet, but they did have us featured in the community profile. I wanna love you in every kind of way. I wanna please you no matter how long it takes. If the world should end tomorrow, and we only have today. Just like that, uh, we did a quick lunch with my dad before heading back to LA.